me in on the back screen. 12 ride right by, nigga still keep working. Fit it down, not for a show. No, I got down well, nigga still ain't working. I just told these folks that I quit. No, I got down well, nigga still sit and serve. Got a chop going crazy like the first and the third. Got a lot of cash money, I can still get burned. Get away with my chain, you can still get murdered. Had an FN on me when I did this. My hair is wet. So good, she gon' leave with a purse. I was really in the streets, you can do your research. Set coming in and the money on phone. Gotta put a stamp on it. Yeah, hit a plate, you grab it off the plate. Hey, gotta put the cap on it. Pussy ass nigga always talking that tough shit. Nigga put a date on it. Everybody good morning, how are you? Good, I woke up late this, this morning. I've been waking up late, it's been hard waking up early, but it's been good for me. It's feeling good. How's everyone doing today? It is hump day. Hello, hello. Where'd homie go? Here's Christian working hard. How you doing, Christian? Good yeah, man. How are you guys? How you doing this morning? How do you feel like your um, your brother like bossing you around all day? I mean, it's okay because it's his job, and I want to give him that. Yeah. You know? I don't want to pop his bubble. But should we fight him after? I think we should. I think we should start up while you have a construction. Uh, construction yeah, bro, behind his back. Without Brandon. Yeah. Good idea. Ride with us, nigga. One fuck with you. I'm one fuck. Yellow submarine. I feel like the bitch. Yeah, it's going to be a house. So they're building, like, the bottom of the house. Like, whatever it's called. Foundation or something. And uh, it's like a six million dollar house apparently. So the guy's a beauty. He's pretty hard on us though. He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. But yeah, we're getting it done. Homie's doing good. Yeah, foundation. Look at you working hard. I know I went to the gym last night. The gym felt so good. Going to the gym, I was like feeling amazing. Um, now working today waiting for homie to tell me what to do here and then I'll set you guys up. You guys can watch. Gotta go to the doctors though at one. Got a doctor's appointment. I got a nail in my foot last night. So hopefully I don't have like some disease or something. But uh, we'll see. I think I got my tetanus shot. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I stepped on a nail. Went right through my shoe and in my foot. <laughs> I need to do something, bro. Homie's gonna slap me. What? Homie's gonna. I need to do something. I'm probably the best worker here, though, right? I know. Like my leveling skills. I don't know what we do, we do without you. All right. He needs to use you more, though. Like you're such a good. I know. Good worker, you know. Like you need to use the time. Yeah. You know, and he just has you helping him when you can do so much more. Should we go see his wife after work? I'm down. Just to piss him off. Yeah. Let's do it. You get a coffee this morning or no? Ice coffee. Yeah. Did you get caramel or no? I no. got you hooked on those, eh? I don't like caramel anymore. No, really? No. Eh? It's sweet, eh? You yeah, have like a taste for it. Yeah. No. Did you get a coffee? Really? Yeah, I'm bad with it, bro. Bro, I know our teeth are gonna be so messed up. There's this toothbrush that uh, toothpaste that buys like when you're Coffee and darts every morning. Bro, I've been liking my dreams better than real life lately. My dreams are amazing lately. Homie, let's get to work, bro. I'm done with this walking around shit. No, I'm kidding. Growing up too fast, my mama. Just trying to get caught. Trying to put peas in the pot. Now I'm gonna spend keys in the box. Man, I need peas for the Put down in the floor and I'm caught. You still can't find it? 
four clips in his mouth, fuck me. That's what I call forcing. How's everyone doing lately? How's work going? I can't find the wrench. Homie's gonna snap. Did you watch the eclipse? No, I didn't. Was the eclipse recently? Yo, what? Why didn't I hear about that? Usually I always hear about that. Everything is good. All good. Work is crazy. Can't find this wrench. YouTube today, yes, YouTube today, Montreal video, I think. Oh, I found it. Homie's oh, gonna be so pumped. Let's go, guys. Yo, I found the wrench. Yeah. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like a boss. Like, yo, I found it. Yo, homie, I found the wrench. Where do I put it? Cat. He's so happy, bro. I know, right? I feel like I just won the lottery. Let's go, guys. We found the wrench. I know, I thought he was gonna kill us for some reason. Your hair, I know. I, To be honest, guys, haven't showered in three days. But I brushed my teeth today, so first time in like three days. Just been bombing it. Sometimes I like to feel just gross. Did I just lose the wrench? Oh no, we got it. Holy. Homie has to smell you, I know. I have to smell my, like, yeah, I just I haven't showered in like three days. Um, I was gonna shower last night after the gym, cause I stunk, but I was like so tired I fell asleep. Then I woke up at like 10 o'clock. Homie was trying to wake me up at seven. I'm like, yo, 20 more minutes, 20 more minutes. And then the day before, I literally, we we wake up early, like seven o'clock, and we were driving, but I was getting tired. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pull over, take a 20 minute nap, right? So I pull over, put my pillow in my back seat, put a blanket over me, ended up falling asleep for two hours. Homie was calling me like crazy. He's like, bro, where are you? We need you. I was like, oh no. So I've been just passing it. I'm not used to this. All right, we, I gotta get to work. Though. I'm gonna set you guys up for a sec before I'm gonna get to pass. Happy birthday. Someone's birthday there. Happy birthday. And this money keep calling. So you know, nigga, I'm on it. They can't ask us for nothing. Where there was that one was stopping. In the trap to the morning. Hit hey, the things we was robbing. They ain't really for the gang. Huh? They ain't really got their heart in. Yeah. And that dude's push the stars with it. You don't want to see the pocket. I don't know how to act, but I know how to get my motherfucking bread up. Shooters on my squad. Watch how you walk, how you try to get wet up. So they stay out the way. The mirror's on play, no, they ain't gonna let up. So my niggas fighting cases, I got on the range, so my dogs get their head up. Just a bag of the game, try to stay out the way. Friends tell me how you did. I'm just trying to get the pace, but gotta go to me way. 
It's a black key later And then come my niggas in the And so we ain't hard no flavors I chase a bag every day in the private To me money always gon' circulate Bro. Ain't in the talk and I'd rather just spark them And take a first cash out of getaway I beg your pardon, you don't say I'm starving the My hair is just ridiculous. I kind of like it though, low key. You know, it's just kind of sad. Now I'm like terrified of stepping on it now. Oh, it's getting hot. Are you on break? No, homie just said wait for five minutes. He has to do something quick. And then we gotta get to it. <laughs> what we're doing is like, I hold the leveler and then I just level this out. There's like a laser right there and it shows you like how high we gotta put it. And then homie drills the hole, drills the hole, drills the hole. And I literally just stand there with the leveler. It's pretty chill, but I'm a rookie, you know? It's my rookie season. Work my way up to Christian one day. This song's a banger. Where are you going? Uh, are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. It's just like good to like get your mind off stuff and like get to work and like, you know. And I know we but I let you go. I don't see it, dude. Where'd you put it? Uh, oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's Grand Valley? What? Please? Yeah. Please Grand Valley? Yeah, like your sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little place. That's dope. Like a little town. Oh, really? Grand Valley. Yeah. Just a crane layer. They have a crane. I like the skulls. It's thick, right? Yeah. I got it at a thrift shop. Really? Yeah. Every time I thought keep going, I get another load. I think we're taking off the jacket, guys. It's getting hot. It's been cold, but it's not even bad today. Nice out. Crystal with the whale. Thank you. Another crazy different city with some different hoes. Here we go. Every time I keep on, I get another load. My name bitch trying to leave me alone cause I fucked another hoe. I'm like, baby, I know I'm wrong, but that's just how life goes. I let you go. Got me walking on a thin line on my tippy toes. Different city with some different hoes. I switch my girls up the same way that I change my clothes. Oh! Whew. It's hot. Got two sweaters on. I can smell you from here, Laney B said. You can smell me from here.
That is ridiculous. I can't believe that. You guys are chirping my smell. Just because I haven't showered in three days. You know what? Since you said that, I'm making it five. Five days, no shower. I'm doing it. I want to smell myself. Every time I thought, God, I get another load. Did you see Ryan Reynolds is interested in buying the Sens? No way. Is that true, guys? That would be the thing ever. But that's what me and Adam wanted to do one day. We're like, yo, we're buying the Sens, you know what? And now Ryan Reynolds is buying the Sens? What? That's my idea. He must have heard me. Dude, what a dick. Just could. It's ridiculous, guys. It's all right. I'll buy it off him. What's that? The Sens is a hockey team. Auto Sens. Oh, I gotta work. See you later. What's the plans today? So today, working in this hole. And then at one o'clock, so in two hours, I gotta go to my doctor's quick. And then I'm gonna work some more and then hit the gym with my buddy. Enjoying acting again, yes. Um, yesterday I had acting. Um, there's a couple that's really good. I think one, I forget what the one is called. It's called like All Things Famous. And it's about like, I'm in like a rock band. I mean, like, some girl that I haven't seen in a while. So I'm just teasing me. So I'm like, yo, I'm just good. And like, so my sister is like part of the rock band. She wants like to take an autograph. Okay, I'm like, or something, so I was like, kind of down, and then I ended up meeting her. I don't even know, but it's just like, like, <laughs> can't hear. Can you guys hear me now? Is it better now? Okay, so one of the scenes is um just talking um almost famous it's called and then like i'm in a rock band and then i meet this girl that i haven't seen in a while she's from high school i kind of have a crush on her but she wants an autograph from my sister because she's a star of the rock band so i was kind of down on that part so that's one of the scenes um there's what's the other one there's like five scenes, so it'll be good. That's a movie, no way. Yeah, I think they're all movies or something. Yeah, it seems like a good raw. There's a couple of good ones. Old scenes are really good too though. I miss my old scenes. If I get caught up, I'm saying no names. Saying no names. The sucky poem, man. Don't say no names.
Are you building a house? No, not my house. A house, though, yeah. This house is gonna be huge. The owner has like seven kids. So he's like, I need a big house. So I'm like, he's like, we got you. I'm like terrified of stepping on nails. Now. Blue-collar YouTube video, that's a good idea. I should bring that up to Justin. Say, yo, come down for a day and we'll like make a joke video. Blue-collar, good idea. Where have you been staying? I've been staying at my buddy's, homies. Just uh, sleeping on the couch. It's been chill. Diamond sword. With the stinky pillow, yeah, the stinky pillow. Those were the funniest, like, TikTok. Will, what year did you graduate? I graduated in 2019, I'm 23. 2018. Graduated in 2018. Yep. Will you continue all week? Yeah. Um, I don't know when we're going to stop working, but I kind of just want to keep working. Like, you know, it's just been chill. We'll see though, see how it goes. But it just keeps my mind on stuff. I can just keep like doing something. Then I could still make content, still go live once in a while. And uh, yeah, but it feels good to like get back to the ground and not be so like high up on myself being like, yo, it's good. It feels good to just do some normal stuff for a bit. live once in a while yeah because like i don't know like lately i haven't been wanting to go live much i've just been kind of trying to like figure my own stuff out and stuff but like when i feel like today i go live so I can't promise I'm going to be going live, like, every day. But when I feel it, I'll go live. What happened about the house rental? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't know yet, though. I might. But, um, my dad really was, like, kind of saying, like, save your money, you know? And, uh... You don't need to move out right now. Wait till you can like maybe buy your own property. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Just why rent for a year when I can just buy a place if I don't want to live in there, put some renters. Please quit smoking. I know I have to quit smoking. We are supporting you ever. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Apparently, the market's down in houses, though, so everyone's like, don't buy a house. We'll see. I'm just taking it day by day. Stop telling them what to do. No, when I say don't tell them what to do, it's mostly a joke. Um, people are just trying to help, you know? Don't smoke's a good thing. You don't want to smoke. Smoking's bad.
regular or menthol? Regular, I hate menthol. Drop today, yeah. YouTube drop today. <sighs> word of the day, the word of the day today. I'm trying to think. Well, I think I was gonna say focus because I think we need to focus, but I don't know. I don't have my rock, so I'm not really I'm trying to think. Yeah, focus is a good one. Focus. Focus on good things. Any more trips coming up? See, like, I'm not sure. Like, I'm literally in a spot where I just don't know if, like, when I'm traveling, like, if I even want to travel. Um... Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm in a kind of a stuck spot right now, what I want to do. So I'm literally just taking it day by day. If something comes up that I want to do, I do it, but um, I don't know. Really don't know. Don't you like it? Yeah, I like traveling. Traveling's good. Um, I don't know. Do you love Jackson Hole or what? Jackson Hole was sick. It was it was a fun experience. I thought I wanted to live there at first, but I don't think I'd live there. Um, but it's it's sick. We're having another hurricane in Florida, no way. That's brutal. What's for lunch today? That's a good question. Then bring a lunch. Maybe a sub. Nice sub. Where are you most at peace? That's a good question. I think my car. Chilling in my car is good. I could sleep in here. I love my car. Um, Niagara, like I used to like Niagara, but like, I don't know, I'm getting over and like staying in my dad, my dad's. It's just kind of like same old, you know? Um, I feel good being around my buddies. They help out a lot. Whenever I'm feeling kind of low, I talk to them and they're there for me. We also work together, so it's good. What's tonight's YouTube video about? Tonight's YouTube video is Montreal, I think. I'm pretty positive it's Montreal. P.O. box recently, no, I haven't been in my P.O. box. I gotta shut that down. Um, Cause I don't even, I don't think I'm gonna do P.O. box anymore. No, it's just a lot. My house is becoming like a storage unit. There's so much stuff. How's mom and little sister? Mom's good. She always texts me, seeing how I'm doing. Little sister, she's good. She's growing up. It's kind of trippy seeing her grow up. It's like, holy crap, but everyone grows up. Please know you're supported and loved. Thank you guys, I know that. 
I post like one thing about like acting, I get like a million messages saying like, thought a boy, thought a boy. You guys are always like trying to like pump me up and it's awesome. So I can't thank you enough for that. Cameo. Cameo shut off right now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How's the temperature? It's nice today, finally. It was cold yesterday. Who was at the gym with you? My buddy Sloaner. Your mom has a TikTok page, I know. I'm like, should I follow her? Like, I do not want to support my mom on TikTok. No offense, mom. But it's like, that's just weird. But like, she literally is just posting like videos of her dog. So it's like, it's pretty chill. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't want to see my mom posting videos on TikTok. It's just like, I just don't. Our kids feel that way too. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, if my mom starts posting like selfies on TikTok, I'm blocking her. <laughs> no, seriously, like, What's your ad? I'm not telling you your ad. No. Have you guys seen the Molly Crew thing? Molly Crew documentary. I watched it the other day and it's sick. They live like rock stars. Did you do the commercial? No, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. That's why my agent's like, if you want to take modeling serious, you gotta be in the gym every day. So I went to the gym yesterday. I was like, great. Dirt, yeah, the dirt. Nikki Six is badass. Yeah, Nikki Six is sick. So is um, what's the other guy's name? Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee's sick. But yeah, Nikki's sex is like sick. I can't believe he was like addicted to heroin and like died and then came back to life. It's like, whoa. Like, that guy went nuts. Tommy Lee.
don't think he's clean and sober. Is he not? I don't know. Partied with them back in the 90s. No way. That's sick. Tommy's hung like a horse. I know. Him and Pamela Anderson have like a video. I was like, jeez. Make a wish, 11 11. Pam is Canadian, I'm not sure. Is she? you do if Sydney Sweeney was in my backseat? I'd be like... That's a good question. You'd be like, what the heck? What are you doing in my backseat? What the frick? Get in my car! You creep! No. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You would need to shower, yeah, literally. So on Wednesdays, yes, we're doing YouTube today. I don't know what we're gonna do for the next video though. We don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. Favorite travel snack. Ooh. Favorite travel snack? Probably like crackers and cheese. Love crackers and cheese. Chocolate milk? Yeah, chocolate milk. Love chocolate milk. People keep asking if you're still sober and clean. Yeah, I am. Five months, I think, now. No marijuana. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Cause I smoked weed for like five years. So like, probably still going through like, getting it out of my system and stuff, but like, it's been good. It's not even been that hard though now. I'm just kind of like, I'm over it. It's whatever. I can finally like fall asleep without it and chill. So it's good. Is it still hard? No, it's not even that hard. Like, I don't even want anymore. I, I honestly am kind of scared to smoke now. If I smoked, I feel like I would be like way too baked. Probably trip out. Proud of you, thank you guys, thank you.
just don't want you tired of us. I see a lot of people saying that. I would like I'm not tired, you guys. I would never be tired, you guys. You guys are just literally always just saying nice things, positive things. But sometimes I get tired of just like always being talked about, you know. Sometimes it's like I don't want to be. I don't really want to be the center of attention sometimes anymore. It's like I'd just rather, you know, do my own shit. It's an Aquarius thing. It's an Aquarius thing. Just pop in sometimes, let us pump your tires. That's it. Like, I'm not saying I'll never want to do it again, but it's just like. Sometimes it's like, especially like the stage I'm at right now, I'm just trying to like, kind of like find myself. So it's like, when everyone knows like what you're doing, it's kind of like, oh shit, you know? Sometimes you can't even like be yourself. Cause it's like, you're always like paranoid or something. That something's gonna like, you know? So it kind of sucks living with that paranoia. But um, yeah. Some huge ass hair horns. With my blue hoodie. Looks like my blue devil. The emoji.
I love just reading the comments. That's why I go quiet for a bit. Because it's like everyone's saying something different, you know? How do you read them? They go fast. I don't even know. It's like, you know, I don't even like, I can't read all of them, but like they pop up and I'm like, can we give you a big air hug, air hug? Oh, big stretch. Gonna be on the party bus with Justin and Alex this week. No. No, 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 no. Are you working every day now? Yeah, I just started this week, so it's only been three days. Just kind of taking it day by day. But um, for now, yeah, it's pretty chill. It's good working with buddies too, you know? Hockey lately? No, I haven't played hockey lately. I want to though. You liking it? Yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. Like, it's good being outside, you know, being in a hole, just kind of chilling. Jackson Hole, but, um, that's yeah, good. What do you drink in iced coffee? How do you get motivated to go to the gym? I never want to. How do you get motivated to go to the gym? It's a good question. Because it's hard, you know? It's hard to get motivated to go to the gym. Like, I haven't been motivated to go to the gym, and I got, like, an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I'm with, like, a big agency and stuff, and I still don't want to go to the gym. So it's hard. Like sometimes you're just like, I don't want to go to the gym. Um, but my suggestion is to force yourself to go the first time. And once you see progress, it feels good. There's also a lot of hot people at the gym. You know, I see a lot of hot girls and I'm like, yo, like, let's go get a pump on. Um, it's a good atmosphere. Everyone's trying to get better. So yeah. And then it's good to go with someone. You know, if you can find like a gym buddy, go with the gym buddy.
yeah, you can work out at home, but it's also, it's good to go out. Like, I like going out to the gym because there's just, like, people there, and it's, like, just a vibe, you know? Like, I, I can't wait to go tonight. Um, like, yesterday, I didn't even want to leave the gym. I felt so good. You know, I went to Booster Juice, had a good conversation with the lady at Booster Juice. I was just feeling, like, pumped up, so it makes you feel good. Yeah, it makes you feel good. Which homie do you work with? I work with, uh, like, Brandon. Let's see if he needs me, though. He's working on something right now. He said he doesn't need me, but he might need me now. No, they're still grinding away over there. Is that a pool? No. No. Dun 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 dun. Gucci shoes. Dun 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 dun. Good luck at the doctor's office. Yeah, frick. Gotta get some gas. Rip up to the doctor's office. I don't think it's too far from here. And then I'm just gonna ask a couple questions. Um, check out my foot and then come back and work. It gets so dark early now. Like literally like five o'clock it's dark here. But it's nice out today. Does your foot hurt? No, it's not even bad. It hurt at the beginning though. Like it didn't pierce the skin, but it went through my shoe and like pushed my skin up. So like, it was so like, it like, I was like, oh no, like there's a nail on my foot, but it didn't go right through. So I was like, thank God. Then my buddy's like, you're gonna get hepatitis or something. I'm like, oh no, don't tell me that. I was all worried. So I'm like, shit. So then I called my mom, I'm like, mom, okay. She's like, yeah, just, whatever like go to the doctor get a check so I'm like all right but it's 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 stinging a bit but it's not bad like it's not bad tetanus shot yeah yeah apparently you get that like every like 10 years or something like i don't even know like when i got it i just kind of hear i'm getting a needle and i'm like all right let's get the needle you know
Yeah, it didn't break the skin, so we're good. Is your rash better? Yeah, like I went to the gym yesterday, didn't even get a rash. So I was like, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me know if you guys can still hear me. On the show, but he did say in the podcast he was recently on that it is possible that we could be getting a Glee reboot in the future. So maybe I'm sorry. Do a Taylor Why is my phone charging? There we go. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me now? Everyone can hear me? Nice. Beauty. So we can play music too. I gotta get going pretty soon though. anything up with the Maurice Sperard podcast but I actually wanted to do that so bad like I was thinking about that last night that's when you said that I was like should I do that I was like I feel like he gets really deep into like your whole life and I'm down to like talk about my life like the struggles I've had and the good things I've had it'd be pretty sick um but I'm also nervous to do stuff like that so it's like I don't know What's the biggest challenge you think the next generation would have? That's a good question. Um, let me think about that. The next big challenge um, would probably be um, Wow, that's a good question. I would honestly, like, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, social media. Because a lot of people, like my brother and stuff, they're, like, so addicted to social media where it's, like... And then you see, like, even my sister already, she's, like, loving social media. And, like, it's just kind of, like, I don't know. A lot of people, like, follow each other. And it's, like, you I want to be, like, that person. It's just kind of, like, not, like... I guess it is real life, but it's not at the same time. Like people are just showing their best self. Um, so I'd say probably social media, I, honestly. Especially at a young age, like kids are getting it really young now where it's like, and it's also an exciting thing. Like social media is like really exciting. It's like, yo, I can reach the whole world here. Like talk to a bunch of people but then it can also be um, very like addicting. And then you're not like, focusing on like kind of life you know like I learned that just from working construction it's like um because I've been like chilling in Niagara for like a year doing lives and stuff which has been really good but when I started working construction again um it was back to like having more people skills like talking to people in person and like doing like kind of on the ground type of work which you can't lose you gotta still do that Social media has really helped me. Yes, it can help a lot of people. Like, if you use it in a good way, right? Because I saw this one guy talking about it. And he's like, 
social media is can be a really good thing um because social media is also like just say you're getting bullied on social media you're still gonna get bullied in real life like it's like the same thing but social media is like a mass like people can bully behind the screen like pretty easy like you just make a fake account and you go on and you can say whatever you want to someone so it's kind of like but in real life a lot of people they won't do that you know because it's like it's scarier to go up to someone and just bully them like you don't want to it's you know you you don't want to get knocked out or anything so it's like but um online it's pretty easy to do that so and then you get a bunch of fake accounts and you're like holy shit like this is this is this really who i am like and then you're like you feel like shit you know so it's like You have changed lives, thank you. I love hearing that. Love hearing that. Can you say happy birthday to Ange? Ange, happy birthday. Yeah, like, and the thing with social media is, like, a lot of people, like, just say, like, we, like people say, like, haters, right? Um, um, but it's also people just, like, trying to, like, stand up for what's right. So I get that. Um, but a lot of people don't even know who the person is. So it's, like, they really, like, bash. And it's, like, you never even met me, you know? You don't even know who I am. I'm just doing my social media stuff and having a good time with it and um you know so it's pretty it's pretty hard and that's why there's been times for sure where i'm just like i don't want to read this anymore you know negative comments and shit just it's hard but if you can just like push through that on you it's good snowboarding this winter yeah i want to snowboard i can wait for the snow now since i'm like working right now so it's like you know it'd be good to get some work done um but when snow comes it's gonna be pretty cool to go snowboarding Is homie making foundations for the house? Yeah, he is. It's a big house. Like, this guy's got balls. He just goes right into it. He's like, let's go. Let's get her done. I'm like, yo, let's go.
What's your favorite thing to do when you're hanging out with your family? Ooh, favorite thing to do when I'm hanging out with my family. When I'm with my family, for some reason, I don't like going in public. I like to stay home and do stuff. Um, so, like, probably just a nice dinner at home, watch some TV. In public, I always stress, like, Julia is going to get lost or too much stress. It's like, fuck. Like, when I went to New York with my family, I was like, I didn't even enjoy it because I was just, like, too stressed. Not the last time, but, like, three years ago, four years ago. Because the fans talk, you know, my fans, my fans are, like, really respectful, man. Um, like, I see a lot of n negative comments on that. It's like, no, they're just, like, living their life. Like, if I tell my fans, like, I don't want to talk to you right now or something, they respect me 100%. They're like, no. Nah. But why not, like, try to s see someone you love, you know? It's like, so I don't really care about that. I'm not worried about that. No, it's true. Like, I think every fan that's came up to me has said, um, I don't want to, like, bother you, like, if you want, like, and so, like, they're, they're totally putting it out there. They just, like, feel like I've changed their life. Um, they could have been in a dark place, and now they start to feel light again. Um, I don't know, like, exactly what I did. I kind of just been myself and was able to do that and now they even have friendships and stuff so it's like you want to see the person that's changed your life you know but if if i'm not comfortable they totally respect that totally not saying everyone though most people there I, th I think there's like one or two people that like non-stop text me and or not text but DM and stuff saying like why don't you answer me and stuff like that and that kind of makes me a little mad because I'm like holy fuck like you're putting a lot of stress on me right now um, but most people are awesome gross who does that no I'm not going to say who does that it's fine like some people have like their own issues right so they'll feel like yeah some people just have their own issues so it's fine it is what it is Have you ever made a fake account to look around? Um, yeah, I have. I have. I've made a fake account before to cheer people too. Um, so I'm like, I'm a victim with that. But that was before I was famous. Once I started getting hate, I was like, I don't want to, but I never chirp people that didn't like come at me, you know, or like come at someone I know. Like if someone was chirping someone I know, 
I would go in on a fake account and be like, fuck you, bro. Um, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I do make fake accounts um, to like see things though, see what people are up to. Um, yeah. No, like right when I chirped someone online, I literally like went when I went to rehab, I wrote it in like, like to my therapist. I was like, it was one of my biggest regrets. I was like, bro, I just hate being mean like that. I was like, fuck. That's how I knew I just can't do that ever again. It's like, yo, just not right. Just not right. Do you sneak on your old girlfriends? Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. It does make you feel good. No, it does make you feel good. Like, hating feels like shit. Like, when I hate, it's like, ugh, something right here. It's like I'm gonna have a heart attack. So I'm like, yo, fuck that. Do you sneak on Twitter? No, I don't go on Twitter. Yesterday I went on Twitter for one time and I regretted it right away. I was like, yo, I gotta stop going on Twitter. I was like, done with this stuff. Before you were famous, what did you do? Before I was famous, I played hockey, and then I was working landscaping, and then I found the app TikTok. So I go to my dad, and I'm like, Dad, I wanna be freaking famous on TikTok. I'm like, I see all these guys that have fans and stuff, and I wanna do that. So he's like, make videos, do what you gotta do. So I started making videos, and I thought about it, and I'm like, if I post 10 videos a day, one video is gonna blow up out of the 10. So I was posting like 10 videos a day and I was just boom, 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 boom. And then um, it kind of blew up, not big though, but I got a little bit of fans. People were even making drawings of me and stuff. So I was like, yo, this is awesome. And then um, I was like, and then I was working construction. I started feeling landscaping. I started feeling really good about myself. I was like, yo, I feel sexy. I feel like a good guy. I'm working really hard. Let's make some more videos. And then I went for like a walk with my dad. He was playing the song Mandy and I was like, yo, this song's sick and into the night. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna make a sick TikTok because I felt it like in my soul. Like I felt like really good about that song. It's like, all right, let's go. Put on the thing, crush out of Mandy. And my buddy Andrew was with me. And I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get this. This is gonna go viral. I knew it. Like I was like, I'm gonna go so hard. I'm gonna use the best eye contact. I'm gonna speak right from the heart. I'm gonna pretend I'm literally talking to someone. And I did it so hard that I literally did an eye roll because I was so into it. And the next morning, blew up. Um, got a bunch of fans, got you guys. And I was like, yo, what the heck? Like this is freaking awesome. So I went live and everyone was like, yo, Put your PayPal in your bio. TikTok takes like 70% of your thing. We uh, we want to donate to you. So I was like, all right, beauty. I can even make money while I do this. Um, so I put my PayPal in my bio and started going live. The next day at work, I woke up with 60 grand in my account. And I was like, holy shit, I have 60 grand in my account. So I showed my work buddies. I was like, yo, look at this. This is insane. And 
they were like, holy fuck, like you gotta quit. You gotta take this up, take this opportunity. So I was like, let's go. So I was like, quit my job, started going live, talking to people. And um, yeah, it's been a crazy journey ever since that. Um, so got in like New York Times, like all these news articles. I was like, holy crap, I was so high up on myself. I was like, dude, this is amazing. Then I started thinking about what can go wrong. I was like, something can go wrong, you know? What happens if like something like, cause I was just a wild kid and I'm like, what happens if something comes out and they're like, yo, Will's uh, this or that. So I started getting bad paranoia, um, smoking more weed. Um, and I was still trying to battle that through going live. I was like, I gotta still go live. So I started, so I kept going live, sharing my life. So I'd share my emotions with you guys. I'd be like, cause I wanted to be totally honest with you, you know? Um, especially you guys are like always in my life. You guys like love me so much. I was getting tons of money and I was like, yo, I gotta be a hundred percent honest with my fans. I gotta show them everything I got. So I was just giving everything. And um, as I was doing that, um, it was good. But then it started to backfire at me a bit. Um, a lot of people were kind of taking advantage of that. Not you guys, but like whatever, like other people were like, now we know everything about this kid, you know? So it was, it was tough. Um, it was like, all right, so, and now I'm here um, and it's tough. It's really tough, you know? Um, sometimes I just want to go back to my normal life because I just, I just want peace. That's all I want, you know? And, uh, but at the same time, I do love it. So it's really hard. I'm in a tough situation for sure. Um, I think about it every single day. So it's tough. It's really tough. But yeah, that's my story. I'm sorry, it's tough. No, it's it's fine. It's it's tough for everyone. Like it's tough for everyone. Um, but yo, it's good. It's life. Life's tough. Yeah, I know, and I think about it every day because um, I think, like, did I deserve to make this money, you know? Um, so sometimes I just want to give it away. I want to donate it all, and sometimes I even want to give it back because I feel like sometimes I'm like, like, did I deserve this? Like, I was smoking weed, I went live and just talked to people, and it's tough. So I think about that a lot. Um you guys say I deserve it. A lot of people say you deserve it, but it's just a battle of mine. So it's like, it's tough, it's really tough. Especially when people say like, you just like used people, um, took like a bunch of money and it wasn't like that, like at all. Like I was trying to build a platform. I was also trying to make people happy and then making money was just a bonus. Like I would go on live and I'd make a ton of money and I'm like, dad like i just made six grand in one one live and he'd be like holy shit like bro like this is unreal so i was like yo like let's go this is my this is my job you know and i was so it was, it was what do you need from us now i like i just i don't want to say i need anything i just need myself to just focus on me and do my shit I know my dad every time I say like dad I don't deserve this and stuff he always tells me he says buddy I have three boxes this size full of letters saying how much you change people's lives and when I hear that it's like that makes me pretty feel better it's like that makes me happy that I did something 
good, you know? Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for the support. It means a lot. Um, but yeah, I just had to share that because we talked about like how it started and then it got kind of deep. I didn't mean it gets so deep, but um, it feels good to like let that off my chest because it's definitely one of my struggles. Just thinking like, you know, I was just this stoner kid going live, but I, I, I tend to forget because of smoking so much weed and stuff, like what I've actually done, like, I always think like, oh, like, like, did I do this or did I do this? And it's like, nah, man, you, you, you did good, bro. Like, I gotta start talking better to myself. And this is a lesson for all you guys. Talk good to yourself, and yeah. Your honesty is your best quality. Thank you. That means a lot. Because, like, I don't know. I don't think I'm the most honest person ever. Like, I definitely, like, I, I, I think, like, I don't know. But I try to just, like, when I feel something, I say, I say it. So it's like, I guess that's honesty, you know? Tell homie I need a job. I think I just saw a good question, but I missed it. Shoot. The comments go so fast. could start over what would you do it's a good question if i could actually start over i think i'd do a lot though like i wouldn't i would get over like 
smoke and drugs like pretty quick like marijuana not a big deal but it is a big deal for me get over that quick um and i'd probably try to like do less stress and just like i don't know pay attention more not just because I, st- I stress the whole, like i stress a lot man people like always say that to me they're like like even my friends they're like bro like you are so like yesterday i cut someone off by accident and uh i was stressing the whole night that i hit them like that's how paranoid i get like i'm like did i hit them like did i did i kill them like that's how fucked i am so i got really really bad paranoia it's uh it's hard to live with but um it's all right One sec, I gotta pee so bad. Guys, I'm gonna leave you right here. guys heard that i'm sorry I gotta go in like 10 minutes Go to my doctor Check out my foot See what's going on Lunch? Lunch is usually at like Lunch is usually at like two. But I'll just grab something when I go to the doctor. Do you hurt your foot? I stepped on a nail, but it's not really mostly about that. I just want to make sure a couple of things are good. Um,
Are you ready? Play some music, see if homie needs help. Not really working today, guys. Jeez. Not complaining. I'm gonna just chill. Oh, my chest is sore. Did a nice chest workout yesterday. Feeling swole. That song's an almost famous, no way. That's sick. Maybe 18 for the rest of our lives, maybe settle down and I'm making my way. And then every time it's our way, you break the truth inside it out. Don't go on, blame yourself. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Baby, I know this might sound crazy. When I drop by your face, lazy. Do edits and duets bother you? No, why would edits and duets bother me? Sorry for being a little rude there. I didn't mean to, but like, still, like, how would that bother me? Edits and duets. Don't say That's a good song too. Oh, it's either at one thirty or one o'clock my 
my um, doctor's appointment. But I'm gonna go for one anyway. The Broncos still clean, yeah. Still clean. Actually, no, it's pretty messy, that too. It's not bad. Like, there's no garbage. Actually, oh my god, there is garbage. Alright, so yeah, it's pretty dirty. Is there a picture we use that we hate? Oh my god, some of the pictures you guys post are like me with like a double chin, like downwards with like a hairy chest. I'm like, god, like how do you find that picture attractive? So sometimes, yeah, that does piss me off. But it's fine. Do you. Whatever you like. But I'm like, god. It's like, are you trying to like make me look bad right now? Or what's going on? I don't know. But yeah, some of the some of the pictures are for real. But most are good. Josh Richards hair is a vibe. Dude, it is Josh Richards hair, and I've been watching him every night. His podcast, BFF podcast. That guy's a beauty. I gotta pop that pimple right there. Bad, okay, shut up. I can look bad. Sorry. Ah. Like, don't make me feel perfect. Like, so. I don't like that. I can look bad. You want me to look bad right now? But I appreciate you saying that. Okay, honest, you look not good smoking. Okay, now I'm not liking the not being honest. Like, I don't like this now. You guys are saying how I, like, you know, you just can't win with me, you know? It's like you say, you say I always look good, I'm pissed. You say, you say I look bad, I'm pissed. You just can't win. I don't know. I don't know. Good song. I want tattoos all over my body, like my hands, my neck. <laughs> You 
No, like low key, I actually do want tattoos all over me. Like I just want to be that guy that looks like he just literally like went through like the worst shit and he's just like tattooed up, like doesn't give a fuck. Like also like a little bit of a pretty boy, like looks dope. Like rocks fair mode. But I don't think I could ever do it. I oh, see like this picture right here. The eyes would look nice. Imagine tattoos. Wish me luck on my exam, Sarah. Good luck on this day. exam. No more battles? Bro, I barely do battles. Like, I don't know why people ask, like, battles. Like, I did battles maybe, like, live week, and that's, like, pretty much it. You know? And then I just pretty much chirp everyone that does battles, because I'm like, why do you do battles every single day? Like, it's just, like, they're just dust. You know what I mean? I never battle. Like, if I wanted to, like, make a ton of money, I would battle every single day. Make tons. But I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. You know? So there you go. I'm a good guy. I guess I can see why it'd be fun though, because you guys are like involved in it. So it's like, it's kind of like a war. Like, yo, we're going to war against this person. But the only thing I don't like about battles is you're just like, come on guys, let's go. Come on, come on. So you're pretty much just like, yo, send me gifts, bro. Come on. And I'm just like, yo, I don't like that. That's the only thing. I'm pretty much chirping every TikTok creator right now. Sorry, but. I just don't like <laughs> But live week, I had to go nuts. Like everyone was talking about live week and they're like, yo, we're gonna win. And I'm like, okay. Let's show them what we got. It was kind of like a statement, you know? I was like, let's go. And that was just insane. Like, that was insane. Insane. Maybe once a month? I don't know. I think the last day of live week was my birthday too, I think. Like the last day. That was sick. It's addicting for them. Yeah, it is addicting. Cause like, one, like money, like people wanna go on, make money. 
Um, but also they want to see like how strong their fan base is. Um, they also want to talk to other people, meet other people. It's just the thing that TikToks do. Like TikTok made it. It's, it's a thing. Like it's, it's fine if you do it. I'm not chirping if you do it. Totally fine. It's just for me, um, I just, I'm not into it. Like it's like, I just don't want to go, you know? I already explained myself. TikTok makes a half load of money. I know. Apparently, I don't know if this is true, but they take like 70% of your income. So that means on live week, I literally would have been a, would have been a millionaire in one week. So, but TikTok took all of it. But it's whatever. I know, insane. Yeah, that's why you guys told me to put PayPal on your bio. And then some people are like, this guy's trying to take all the money, put PayPal. It's like, no, my fans told me they want to support me. So I'm literally putting it in there. Why not, if they want to support? I'm not t putting a gun in anyone's head, but if you want to support me in that way, you can support me. If you don't, it's fine. Still support me here. Like, it is what it is. It's a way to make money. But also most of my haters are like older, which they like don't even, they're not even used to this. So they're just like, what's going on? Like no, no one's used to this. This is like new shit, like making money online. It's like a new thing. an actual job it is a job like i tried to make it a job by like going live every day trying to do like a coffee with whitey do some singing and dancing and then go make tiktoks you know what i mean um but i'm kind of learning like you can still do like construction and go but then i also am kind of learning that construction does like if i really it's hard you know i don't really know i still haven't figured out the balance but i'll figure it out for me, I feel like it's like a big job because I'm literally talking to so many people, sharing my life. It's kind of like a lot of stress. Like I don't just get off this live and just go to my normal life. Like don't even think about you guys. Like I get off and I'm thinking, all right, like what did I say on live? Cause like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Like I do, but I'm just kind of saying, like I'm just talking my heart. So I'm not like really being constructive. You know what I mean? But after the live, like you're thinking about it all the time. You go, you check people. Um, what's going on so it's like it's pretty it's pretty stressful um it depends like some people it's not stressful some people it's like some people it's blessed like i saw one guy posting he's like i don't get why people are stressed when you're a creator good for you bro i'm so glad that you're like that like literally i wish i was you me i don't know i stress about everything i cut i think i killed them i friggin I uh, drove too fast. I think that I'm everything. Like I, I just, I stress about everything. So that's just me. You know, it is what it is. But I also think that's why people love me in a way too, because they see that I'm a normal human being as well. You know, I'm just a normal guy that stresses a lot, and uh, it kind of gives people like a chance. They're like, "Yo, I can. If if he can do it, I can do it." You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. I've always stressed though, like when I was a kid I'd bite the side of my bed like a wood ch chipper all all night. Just bite my bed. I had I tried to make the most bites in my bed. So I've always when I look back I've kinda always been like that. Um just me. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm hoping that all this stress means that I'm gonna I got big things coming. So that's what I like to look at it. Um but obviously there's negative thoughts that come in and you're like, oh like this, that, but yeah.
What's your birthstone? What is my birthstone? What is my birthstone? I think it's purple. Atheist. Atheist. God's not gonna like that one. That's my birthstone. No, I'm just joking. You said like Amyth or something like that. William, you were born an atheist. What does that mean, God? Going to hell. Oh fuck! Really? Yeah. We need some. We need some bad guys in the world. You know what I'm saying? It, life wouldn't be as fun, bro. Why me though? That's what it is, man. All right. You guys say I don't have a mean bone in my body. I don't want you guys to think that. Because I do have a mean bone in my body. For sure. Like, I would never go, like, hurt someone or any of that. But, like, if someone, like, hurts me, I think it's just the most ruthless shit ever. Like, not just me, my family. Mostly my family. Like, when someone, like, hurts my brother or something. Like, I'm just thinking of every scenario how to get back. Is it better? All right, yeah. So yeah, I definitely have a mean bone, but um, when I was like, homie was saying like, homie was just telling me that the other day, he's like, bro, like, stop thinking like you have a mean, like you're mean and shit, like you're like the nicest guy. I'm like, thanks, homie. Thanks, bro. He's a lot. He's like, yeah, bro. Sometimes you just think shit, you know, like you're just. bad guy stress about being a good person i like that i like that that's so true it's not no they won someone just told me that i think it was my agent like michael not kelly michael he's like bro because i like i literally trip out like, i'm like do you think i'm a bad guy and stuff like i asked that stuff it's like bro if you were a bad guy you would not be coming up to me asking those questions he's like you would literally be out doing bad things so no, you're not a bad guy. Like they want to kill me when I talk like that. It's just, I don't know why I do that. I don't know why. I think it was the fame. Like me just kind of blowing up and stuff. I just like got like scared or something. Like, I don't know what happened.
Are you single? Yeah, I'm single. I'm a single guy. Just look at my brother's girlfriend's like, I don't think Will will ever get married. I'm like, wow. I'm like that, that was a shot to her. Like, I'm joking. I just it's just, you know, you're like you're like a fuck boy. I'm like, wow. So that's, that's what you think about me? And then I thought about it, I'm like, maybe I am. Like, I think I'll get married one day. Like, Yeah, I'm young, you know. I'm an atheist. See, psych guys, you didn't even know who I was. You guys thought I was this nice guy? This is my real self right here. I'm a devil. I'm a devil. What up, what up, what up? Didn't want to show you guys last year, but I'm showing you now. How you doing? Doctor's appointment. I know I gotta go. Doctor's appointment. I know I gotta go. I'm gonna check how far it is. One sec. All right, I gotta leave in six minutes. But it's been fun going live. It's been chill. Also, like we went from like we went from like laughing to like talking all serious. It's like talking about all my worries. It's like like we just go all over the place. Like it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Well, I do, but, and you guys just like follow along. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. Amy with the lion. Thank you, Amy. Oh, sorry. I got something to do. I always feel like it's okay to be gross like that. And then I realize, like, geez, you can't do that stuff, bro. Psych! Put on my ears. I was the kid in class that would like look around the class. Joking, I wasn't that kid. I used to always see that kid though. I'd be like, what the heck is that kid doing? Does he not think I'm looking? He would just be digging and shoving boogers in his mouth. I'm like, frick, that's crazy. What would be worse, fans posting double chin pics of you or strings up your nose? Honestly, double chin. 
like I like when I'm like this it just shows like not a like no actually there's there's oh, there's plus size bottles so I can't say not a model but like for me I had to look ripped and stuff so it's just it's an it's, it's assaulting I think that's the word to my career you know what I'm saying so I'm like I'm like yo like don't post that bro you know but with this on my nose insulting sorry Fuck. and but with this on my nose it's like not a big deal it's like yo yeah i'd rather me picking my nose actually eating it rather that Does Kelly want you to have your body like Jordan Barrett? No, like he doesn't. Kelly just wants me to just be in shape, you know. My own look. I don't need. I don't. I don't need to look like anyone else. Just need to have my body in shape. Have a great day, Will. You too. Thanks for coming in. It's been a chill live. Um, but yeah, no promises when I'm gonna be going live, guys. Um, like I might even take like I'm just like warning you so no one gets but like two weeks off. Um, I'm just kind of all over the place right now trying to work. I might go live every day. Like, I don't know. I'm just literally Whenever I feel like going live go live um, We'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Thanks guys, thank you. Thank you All right, we got two minutes. Oh, I can't put that in my mouth. Yeah, and also I can't be like, right now, homie doesn't need help, but most of the time he does, so gonna be helping homie out for a bit. Or forever, I don't know. You know, maybe this is my new thing, building houses. We'll see. But it's been really nice to like come here, like work really hard and then go home and watch movies. It's been a chill schedule. I really liked it. watch any good movies lately um I'm trying to think i have but i'm just trying to think i watched great wall and it's like these creatures like running up the wall and literally like they have to like shoot all the creatures and stuff it's pretty crazy um like me and the boys me and homie and christian we love to watch like that kind of movies like alien stuff like just like crazy out of this world type movies it's pretty cool matt damon yeah matt damon it's my birthday friday mary eve happy birthday all right guys i gotta get going I gotta go to my appointment. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for listening to me guys and just being there like, you know, give me positive vibes. Like just hearing that like reinsurance that like I deserve what I do and stuff just makes me feel way better about myself, you know? Cause like sometimes I doubt myself, you know? Everyone doubts yourself, but like it's hard. So it feels really good to have people that just support me that way. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah. All right, guys, have a great day. Probably gonna tell my doctor, give me a therapist ASAP, because obviously I do need to talk to a therapist. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll go good. And I want everyone to enjoy their day, enjoy their lives. Don't, uh, 
don't listen to whatever negativity just enjoy life chill out you know you only live once you know what i'm saying i'm sure uh some of you i'm not i'm not making an old joke we're not no dinosaurs but i'm sure some of you've had mid midlife crisis you know i've already had one so um that should teach you teach you to wake up and stop worrying just chill you know what i'm saying same with me so we got this not old here not saying everyone's old majority are though but older not old but older older than me um but yeah thanks for coming in guys Now I want to be a dick. Now I want to be a dick. Like, I want to start talking dinosaur talk. Like, I was going to make a joke there. I was going to be like, all right, guys, see you later. Love you guys. And have fun riding your dinosaur. Or, like, some joke like that. But I, 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 have no, I have no joke. See, sometimes I do that. Like, I just, I just, I, I like to pick. Like, you know, it's just funny. Um, but I don't have one right now. I don't at all. But yeah but yeah um i have no old joke right now Fuck. no joke's over um but have a good day um make sure to take care of your grandkids <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I can't even get off the live like that. I was gonna just get off the live, but like I just can't. I need to make sure everyone's okay with that. That was, are you, everyone good? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ouch. I know that one hurt, I'm sorry. have a good day you know if you're if you're bored throughout the day make sure to look at your uh 1874 yearbook <laughs> no, I'm joking i'm done i'm done i swear to god we're done we're done i'm being a dick total dick um i know it just it makes it makes it makes you guys laugh <laughs> oh i had to spice it up we were all serious all alive i have to spice it up a bit i'm sorry i'm sorry um, all right, guys, we're actually done here. I gotta go. Um, yeah. All right, <laughs> all right guys, peace and no chirping well. All right, I can give, but I don't take, all right? Also joking. I feel like I have to say that a lot, but yeah. Um, all right. Thank you. One sec, just reading some comments here. All right, we're done. I gotta go. All right. Peace. Again, thank you guys. Today was chill. Hope your afternoon was chill. And the word of the day, focus. Focus on good things. All right. Peace, guys. <laughs>